Hello and welcome to the final part of the Pilot T85M video. Let's do a quick recap. We got the radio, it wasn't working, there was no noise. Then we went through, changed a few bits, found another bit, put another bit in it, put it back together and it worked in pieces. Let's catch up with it now, see what it's like. Currently we're on medium wave uh, on the Pilot uh, T85M and as you can see it's on the bonnet of my car and uh, I thought we'd do that because then I could catch the pretty sunlight shining off the Bakelite. getting a lot of uh, Middle Eastern stations and Arabic and they look to be around 22-23 megahertz Right, so what I'm going to do now um, is I'm actually going to go handheld and hopefully we can uh, stay focused and uh, I'll show you round the radio. So let me just take you off the tripod. And here we are, back in the room. As you can see, on the bench is the radio now. It's not on the bonnet of the car any longer. And 
it's lit up. You couldn't see that in the daylight shots because of the uh, the exceptionally bright and very hot sunshine we were having. I tell a lie. It got to about 10 degrees centigrade, which is uh, sort of mid 50s, I think. Um, I'll I'll work it out at some stage. So anyway, it's lit up and I've got it tuned in on the bench to one of the two signals I can pick up. The reason I can pick up these particular stations is because I actually live 4,700 feet from a 500 watt AM transmitter. No, that's not my own ham setup. That's actually the official relay transmitter for this area which is why even without an antenna I get two particular stations, one on 1233 and one on 1528. So let's just turn it up. Let's just bring it down to the other one. And as you see, I get nothing else on medium wave. This is probably the shortest video of the series, uh, even with the extra bit of footage from outside. Hopefully you can see that uh, it's a worker, it's doing what it should do, and yeah, there we go. Another successful radio. I've got to say, I think the Bakelite on this particular set has come out extremely well. I did use uh, a little bit of uh, polish on it and it's it's come up absolutely fantastic. You can see the grain in it and with the bulbs lit up the front panel looks good. Um, I didn't have to retouch up any of the glass because all the bits where the dings in it were, were hidden. Um, although saying that I can see one right at the very bottom here at the front. Um, I suppose this camera is picking it up. But apart from that, yeah, the, the plastic grill came up nice. The, the controls are all not scratchy. There's a little bit of a buzz in the background. I may still get round to changing the main filter capacitor and uh, seeing what, what goes on with that. Just looking at the, the meter on the bench and uh, it, it's drawing 30 watts. 0.157158 amps off the mains. Current mains voltage is 240.9. The power factor is 0.8, which is pretty good considering the the main load on the mains is inductive. It goes straight into a transformer. Let's turn it up. Go back to medium wave, get some music going. What else can I say? It's done, it's working, and uh, thank you for sticking by this series, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. On to the next project. If you do like this series, or any of my other videos, please like, click the bell icon, subscribe, the usual things. If you don't like what I'm doing, please tell me, uh, leave a comment. If you do like what I'm doing, leave a comment, and uh, just say, doing a great job, or... You're absolutely rubbish. Go and stick your head in a bucket of guinea pig poo. Uh, whatever you like. Um, I do try and respond to all the comments and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video with something else on the bench. Thanks very much for watching for now. Bye bye.